There's lots to look forward to, and it's pretty quirky. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. And they have everything from stand-up to improv to all sorts of puppets, as you can see behind me. Puppets. All right. Why not? <laughs> and we caught up with some of the puppeteers who were going to be out there for a sneak peek. And here's the story. We have a bunch of puppets here. We have uh, Sweet Potato and Chad. We have Dinosaur. Ed Durkovics from a puppet performance group called Ed's Shed is pulling some of his stars from a stuffed chest. Each one of them has a little character going on with it. This is Jilly Sophical, which is a little girl who overthinks things. She's super intelligent. Ed Shed is a group of performers who came together during COVID to put on shows on YouTube and Facebook Live. Now, let's just say they're having a lot of fun. It's time for Ed Shed. Each one of the puppets, whether life-sized or little, has their own personality. Now we have up to 23 shows. Uh, we had guest stars such as uh, other puppeteers. We've had musicians. We've had singers. We've had dancers. So it's time for Ed Shed. Woo! Ed Shed is looking forward to performing at the Tampa International Fringe Festival. It's designed to give out of the ordinary and non-mainstream acts a way to showcase their art. Sort of. It's almost like having a co-op. Um, as a festival, so it's a lot uh, cheaper and easier to produce your own work with uh, with a festival like ours. We are free! We are free! And I feel like it's the accumulation of, of what creatives do in the area when they want to try things out, when they want to uh, not be part of the mainstream yet, they want to investigate what they could do. Yeah, you weren't kidding. That's cast of characters for sure there. Looks like a lot of fun, though. Yeah, they're definitely, literally, a cast of characters, and they are having a lot of fun. And if you'd like to attend the Tampa Fringe Festival, we have all that information for you at baynews9.com.